Hello and welcome to A Bug Man's Life. It's good to see you. Today we will be taking a look at how to set up a queen ant to start a colony with. So you have just caught a queen ant and you want to set her up to start a colony with. So let's take a look at how to set her up and why you do it in this way. Firstly, you will need a test tube, some water and a bit of cotton wool. Now you take your test tube, you fill it halfway with water and then you add a piece of cotton wool. And the trick here is to do it fast because if you don't do it fast enough, they will form a bubble behind the cotton in the water. This isn't a problem, it just doesn't look as good. Next, you will add your queen ant, and then plug it with another piece of cotton wool to stop her from escaping and to close her in in a claustral chamber, where she will lay her eggs and start the colony. The reason we do it in this manner is to keep the nest humidity up so that the eggs of the queen doesn't dry out, and this small space is exactly what the queen needs because in nature they will close themselves in and not escape from that claustral chamber until they have a few workers and then they will just stay and create a bigger nest from that claustral chamber so this is exactly what we're mimicking with this setup here I have a Camponatus maculatus or the spotted sugar ant queen which already has a few eggs now these eggs just have to hatch out into little larvae and those larvae have to grow into small ants. Then I will successfully have started an ant colony. So, I will be keeping you guys up to date as this continues and happens. Now you know how to set up a queen ant to start a colony with. So, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button and share this video with a friend. Then I will see you next time.